I wonder um, if I'll ever be in a serious relationship again. It's not something that needs to happen. I'm just curious with things. It's like, you know, being neurodivergent and living with my mom. Uh, and even if I was, there's really no telling, but even if I wasn't neurodivergent, just like, I might still live with my mom just because, I mean, I know it's because of who I am that I enjoy the predictability and everything. But still, I might still choose that because different people do different things. To me, it's like you don't need to do things a certain way. Some people feel like it's like they just can't wait to get out and live on their own and everything. And it's like, that's just not me. Um, you know, the one girl that I asked out, well, there was another girl that I asked out, but it didn't really count because I was young and it was a different thing. But the one girl that I asked out, it's like, uh, I don't know whether or not she would be cool with this sort of thing. Um, it's different. I'm, I know that there are many people out there that are totally cool with it that might even do the same thing themselves and everything. Um, but yeah, it's just a curious thing. Um, but yeah, like to me, I've things are going well. I mean, I've got a job that pretty much me meets my requirements and I'm making good money when I work. And you know, I make music here and there and I, I do my thing. It's like, I don't need, I don't think socializing is something that's essential. And a girlfriend isn't something that's essential or a boyfriend or, you know, whatever. But, um, and that's, I know that's what you'd say. It's like, Nate, you've got to socialize in order to meet someone if that's what you want to do. And it's like, that's what I'm trying to say is like, I'm curious to know if it's going to happen again because I'm in my 30s and, you know, it would be something cool. It's not something I would think was terrible. I Obviously, I mean, they're yin and yang to different things. But yeah, it'd be a really cool thing. But that's what, I, what I'm trying to say is like, I'm curious about it, whether or not it will happen. But I don't see it as something essential. I don't ever want to um, have my own children. I don't want to, with what I deal with, with uh, other paranoid aspects, different things, I don't want to have the chance of someone else like having the same struggles, even though it's like, you know, I deal with them, so I'm sure the, a son or daughter could too. Like, it just might be difficult. But like, I just don't want to take that chance, so like, Maybe I would end up, if there's anything with kids in the future, it might be something where it's like I date a girl that already has a kid, had a kid with someone else, or it's like we adopt or whatever. I don't know if I'm even going to ever want that. It might just be like girlfriend, boyfriend, 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 uh, whatever. Maybe, I don't know, you know, it could be a cool thing, but it's like I got to focus on myself first and like make sure that I'm good to go and you know I don't want to be because I don't want to be a bad father I think that I have traits that certainly lend themselves to that like to where it's like I can like show them some cool like RPGs and different things but um yeah that's not necessarily ever going to happen but yeah it's just like I just think about things um I love you know uh living here my mom is like my best friend. She I feel like she understands a lot of different things about me and um not everything. We don't see eye to eye on every single thing. But just I like my bedroom and I like doing the things that I do, but uh just seeing if anything may happen in the future, who knows. Um I would just want somebody that's understanding of different things and is cool with how I choose to do things, you know. But anyway, uh just thoughts out loud. Um Take care of yourself and have good times when you're able to.